Welcome to our lecture online. So here we need to get a concept of what equipotential lines are. These are lines that represent where the potential is the same everywhere along the line. And we've also drawn two charged objects, one that's positively charged, one that's negatively charged, and we've drawn in the red lines the electric fields, and of course the arrows point in the direction of the electric field, which is from positive to negative. Notice how the black lines, which are the representative of the equipotential lines, those are always going to be perpendicular to the electric field line. So you can see here that if you cut across this way, halfway between these two charged objects, assuming that they both have the same amount of charge but opposite in, so maybe we'll just call this plus Q and call this negative Q to indicate that they have the same amount of charge as opposite and sine. And then you can see that Everywhere you look, the black lines cut through the red lines perpendicular to the direction of those red lines or to the direction of the electric field. Notice that you can see here that these lines go around the charged object, but everywhere you look, the black line goes perpendicular or cuts perpendicular th through the red lines, meaning that the, the uh, equipotential lines always are going to be perpendicular to the electric field lines no matter where you go. And notice that as you get closer to the positive charge, the potential will go up. So this is higher potential, this is lower potential, and vice versa. The closer you get to negative charge, that's the lower potential, and then of course the potential goes up. So on this side you'll have negative potential, on this side you have positive potential, and right halfway in between the potential should be zero. And that's how you can best illustrate what equipotential lines are. And there, that's the best way to do it.